Siri collapsed in the swamp. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Velen's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nursed back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. You were right, Spock.
wenches, witches coming! Another one. Run along home with the rest. Sir, show some mercy. We've not got nowhere to go. For us, it's Novograd or death. Had enough for you, lot. Sod off, or I'll have you skewered. They seem desperate. Let them through. Can't see any harm in it. Fucking hell. How many times have I got to repeat this? I've orders to turn back anyone who don't show a pass. Let him through before I get angry. Huh? That a threat? You'll not talk to me that way. Oh no! We're done! Get him! Not good. Thank you. We've got nowhere to go back to. Novograd? That's a chance of a new life. Stay off the roads. Liable to run into another patrol. Shan't be taken like that again. We'll be as careful as hares in a field bared by winter. But you... You was cast in a different mold than us. More like the hero that lies in the tomb near Crookback Hills. Tomb's in a cave in a hillside. Down Warren's at the foot of the hill. Folks say treasure inside's a sight to behold. Huge hoard. Might find something that suits you. Good luck. But the fairness in your eyes.
Odd though he is, they'll call you in the way. Oh. Ah. Watch where you go. Ah. It's time you turn around. There's more scum in Nova Gred. Didn't be used to allow mutants inside. Arms for the poor. And the execution. Better burn a beast than a human I was just in a bit outside. No. Oh, oh, it's just too sadly. Happy pops and he was going. Look! The corpse is like a poor fellow out. Ah, oh, Novi Grad! No evil can survive the holy fire. The holy fire enlightens, burns, and cleanses. Behold the flame of grace and mercy. Special fire for you, freak. Nice, slow burning. You'll beg for mercy in all the voices known to you. Like the others of your spirit. I wanted only to live like you! Help me, kind folk! Please! Sure hope Dudu hasn't met the same fate. Burnt Dokken by the stench of our time. Ooh, you look familiar. No, if you gotta take risks, back. Who's captain of this ship? Looking at her. I, her. That's right. I, a woman, am captain. Shocking as shit, I know. Need to get to Skelliger. Not on this boat, you won't. Pay you well. The islanders live off plunder in the seas. Not willing to risk that. Ever sailed there? Listen, the islanders attack all ships. When they hate someone, Nilfgaard for instance, they attack him more. But truth be told, not much more. Bored did me once. Expect they wanted to see if I had captain's bollocks. That spot of fun gave me enough Skelliger for a lifetime. I've had enough of living. My old ship has a lot of time. Somewhere, as I reckon, this deck's like to always. shine like the silver on the Emperor's table. Captain, no clue. 
clue. Drinking somewhere, as I reckon. I always so bored I can spew. The Reapers come from it. Punishable by death! Will you want? Ah! Wasteless, a miracle you came back at all. You captain of this tub? What's it to you? I'm Skellige bound. Need to get there. Start swimming. Islanders, the Black Ones, all attackers in those waters. No one sails the route these days. Come on. Clans are ready to deal. Leave you alone if you do. Someone's done it. Gotta have. Not likely. Except maybe that daft bastard Wolverstun from the Atropos. A liar, a thief, and a bugger, that one. He might have parlayed with the sea swine. Hmm. Where can I find him? In a pigsty most times. Others, the golden sturgeon. Ask for Flask. Everyone knows him. Captain of the Atropos. So you want to know if I'm Atropos, Captain of the Wolverstone? No fucking clue, mate. I need to get to Skellige. My Atropos and me, we're due to sail for our Skellig. Carrying grain. But that's our shush. Got any coin? Gotta get more coin. You sure do. For I won't even whip me horse in a bath without payment in advance. Look for your kind beyond the walls. I believe I see a challenge. Oh, this living with just a pool. I'll try to arise. Master Claytop heartily greets the challenger. Greetings to Master Claytop from Geralt. Will you take up the challenge? Will you face our tavern's champion? Yeah, I'll fight this Gregorio fellow. Your attention, please. This fine witcher has agreed to join in battle with our tavern's champion, Georgius George. While our champion prepares, you and I should have a chat. Let us talk coin. I shall be blunt. You stand to earn a great deal, provided you follow a few recommendations. You asking me to cheat? Not to cheat. To engage in an enterprise, that is all. What say you? How much will you give me to throw the fight? Considerably more than if you win. A bucket of coin for taking some hits to the face? Tempting offer. I'm in. What do I do? Nothing much. Throw some punches, not too many mind. Then let him drop you. A warm welcome to our competitors as they enter the ring. Geralt versus Georges George, the pile driver. May the better man win. Slow to the brink! 
I made you a lucrative offer, did I not? Yeah, but there's nothing quite like robbing a thief or cheating a cheat. I shall remember this. Master Claytop never forgets a slight. Our winner and the tavern's new champion is... The Witcher called Geralt. Here is your prize. Archibald O'Neill is another brawler you can fight. You'll find him near the entrance to the slums. There's also Mortimer. Captain of the Guard. He can usually be found near the Oxenfurt Gate. Hey, Whitey. Why'd your hair go white? Patty Gruber, I'm a bookie. I trust you're here to fight. I'm ready. Hear that? A fight at last! Our champion, Archibald O'Neill, to face Geralt! Fight! This is your ass today. Oh, come on! the best in Novigrad. Who do I gotta fight? Well, if you yearn to fight some more, you must certainly face the Captain of the Guard.
let even you into the city. Double chase. What was it happened to Faltus? Help! Save me! I'm dying of poverty. What village are you from? We're lost. It's into the area to the guys right from the zebra. Non-human, are you? Oh, uh, uh, oh! Very present is an affront to the eternal fire. The best stock in all Novigrad. No need to push. Enough for all comers. Uh, no one to push. Very good. Manners before trade, always. Let me have a look. is if you're prepared to fight Captain Mortimer! I'm ready. Let's do this. Fight! Troops! Here now! Virginia! of Rivia dethrones Captain Mortimer! Behold your prize, champion! You have earned the honor to challenge Novigrad's champion, Durden the Tailor. You will find him in far corners, and fight there as well after sundown. I'm already dependent on the Black Ones, economically. We've been expecting you. We're already taking bets. You've been weighed, you've been measured, and you've been found scrawny. In what world could you possibly defeat me? Came here to fight the tailor, so let's do this. 
Novograders, one and all, a momentous occurrence. Before us, in just minutes, Geralt of Rivia will face the tailor. Come here, bitch. Uncle Durden wants to sew you a new face. Let's end this. Durden is champion no more. Henceforth, the title belongs to the Drifter. If you've not had your fill of slapabouts just yet, you'll find other eager challengers in Velen and Skellige. Oi, Cocker! Stop plumbing. There's somebody coming. It's a waste of words. He look at this one. Careful, you scamp. This is no big red. Not your back Why are you wondering this? They burn the pies of wind, tainted things all the same. And I've got the government. And you're scared. Right. presence is an affront to the eternal fire. Ah! Watch where you're walking. My dad doesn't like it. You're back. Got the coin. Here, that enough? Hefty sack. Like a bull's. When do we sail? Not sure you're ready. You can barely stand. Know this, stranger. Captain Wolverston never sails sober. The sea goes one way, Wolverston the other. Makes the rock unbearable. So, ready to set sail? Let's go. Ah, first, you must drink to the wind, to good fortune, and to the strength of my Atropos. Anchors away!
back off or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not afeard of dying. Rob every corpse that washes up on shore? Taken from a corpse ain't theft. I'm a man of the isles. I don't reap, I don't sow. The waves bring me my harvest. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah, thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Ord Skellig. There's a witch at Kertrolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you think she was a beached orca? Fact is, even those who see her for a wench would gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. Yennefer's not all bad, once you get to know her. <laughs> Take your word for it. Know the way to Kertrolda? Expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long. You need not do this, child. I know, but I want to. This madness. Such a young lass. Erna should be the one going. They shared a bed long Silence. Over. It is her decision. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
You look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. King Bran of Clan Twirsech has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. That will be a good day. You smell wonderful. Geralt, we're at a funeral. You smell wonderful at this funeral. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates of Caer Troll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach, dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. Come to the wake with me? Gladly. Feasts in Skellige, so predictable. Slobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah, nothing like the banquets mages attend. Remember the one on Thanet? You were there. How could I forget? I also remember excruciatingly well what happened after the banquet. Reading my mind again? Mm. What's more, I like what I see. Did you learn anything in Velen? How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Art Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf! Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake, and I'll not accept any excuses. I've an important matter to discuss with you. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Krak, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go, choose something. In the meantime, I've something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. Can you 
swing an axe. Someone helped Bran into the next life. He was breaking Come on, I'm in Scott's seat ready in time for the funeral. Bran? Bran? Don't eat so much. Why the spit not? Because if it gets to go, gun, those dirty dudes are going to be on the trail. Come on, man. Oh, man. What's up? Bran of Clan Twisa, our valiant king. Like it here. Uh -oh. Watch your step. I want to fight. Rap, tell me when you're ready. Ready to fight any time, even now. Like to have some words with the Outlander first? It's about my Erica. See her? I... I gotta win today. She's watching. I don't stand a chance against you. I know it well. But I was thinking, maybe you'd let me win. All right. We'll do it like this. First fight, I'll take a dive. But then we'll go at it again. Best man wins. Enough of this chatter. Fight! Even so come on, come closer. Keep together! Good with your hands. Hey, I am. Stick to camera. It'll all work out. Foreigner, watch your step. I wonder if he's as strong as he looks. Best place not work. I heard Grey Inga augured your son's future. Ah, true he's a bellicle of the world. Coiled into the shape of a snake. <laughs> this has got to be Yen's room. She always did like space and luxury. Not something I'd ever wear. But what don't we do for her? Hmm. Who exactly is she to me? I recognize your type on my look.
Keep an eye on him. Best blades what we're trying to do. We go you. swinging at eight. <laughs> Where are you going, clumsy sock? Closer, stranger. May your axe never crumble. a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. Introduce me. This is my friend Geralt, and this is Berna, widow of the dear departed Bran. The Queen Mother. It's a pleasure to meet you, Geralt. You must forgive me, but on a day like today, I'm afraid I cannot indulge in my penchant for long conversations. I can see you chose your own outfit. You know, of course, that together we look about as good as lace frills on a battle axe. Everyone's got their style. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him, we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. A drink last night too? Bread, sheep's milk cheese. Our wagon's full of loot to be written from the black ones. We've also wine from the temple. Geralt, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Mm -hmm. Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Hmm. Must say it suits you. Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Nice to meet you, too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Krok on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them to. Wanted to meet the notorious Witcher Geralt. We've met. 
Don't remember. That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your feast mates and learn me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand, Blue Boy Lucas, Madman Lucas's firstborn, and choking down a stockfish over there is Otrek on Hindar. Forgive me, I remember our meeting all those years ago, but I don't recall your name. Ceres on Crate. Crack, her da, and her big brother Yalmer call a Sparrowhawk. A Yal's daughter she is. Fat lot of good it doesn't. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Crack about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you're in. If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first, wins. I'm ready. You'll start when I sound the horn. by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the week. Let's. See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. I lost to a Witcher Sparrowhawk. It likely happened to any of us. Enough of the natter and let's drink. Can't today, for good reason, believe me. But if not today, then when? You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. 
Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Jarl Donar and Hinder, and Jarl Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen? He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha ha ha! Giving me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Thought Skelligers called a truce for feasts. I know the hallowed customs. But Lugos ought to know that I'll not let him raid my Hindisfial bear. You don't scare anyone, Donor. I'll be boy soon to plow your priestesses, drink from your tankard, and shit on your table. Be sure to leave a candle lit for me. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the black ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing, total war with the Empire is another. Awfully mouthy, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Know what, Lugos? Just realized I don't give a damn about your hallowed rules of hospitality. Finally, some toy version. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Come on, freak! Show us what you're made of! Move the benches! There's to be some gob slapping! Enough. Ah, oh, you got me good. That were quite a wallop. Still seeing spots, room, rocking like a leaky tub in a hurricane. We'll call it even then, soon as you apologize to the lady. Don't hold it against me, my lady. It's my deep conviction sorceresses are needed, deeply so. No offense taken, forget about it. That I like. And the knocking. It's what men do. Give me your paw, Witcher. Let me squeeze. It's a worthy one. Witcher, have a drink with me. Proof there's no hard feelings. And visit me at times, I insist. Yaren's been jabbering about bringing in a Witcher for that haunted lighthouse. Do me a favor. Meet him for an ale in the tavern near Aaron Bjorn. Then you put a short jaunt to find me, so as we can knock back something stronger. Here's to our next. Sure, I'll knock one back with you, Lugos. Drink like you fight, and we're in for a good time. To Bran! Yennefer and I'd be honored. Here's to your health. Forgive us, we should mingle, talk to some of the other guests. What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. Take it Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it you'll decide when. Correct.
Yes? Footsteps. Shh! Guards! Hide behind the tapestry. Sparrow's chip! While Starlings chirp. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws call. Goldfinches warble and cranes whoop. Grass peacocks screech. Hawks scream, larks trill, and doves they coo. That's all of them. Mm. What about nightingales? All right, nightingales croon. This'll be tough to open. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermian spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Come. There's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia, being romantic. <sighs> Amazing how a hobby can render a man mysterious. Fascinating. Especially a druid. Must be a real nature lover. Looks alive. Had one at Care Morin. <laughs> Please. A hundred loose and arrow if you saw that in the woods. A basin of water. For teleprojection, a reflection of Ermion appears on the surface. Supplicants speak to it. Ah! Are you all right? Cut myself. The door is locked. The animals, they're alive. Yen, watch out. Monsters. Feel them. Come closer. You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals, sword flailing. I had to calm you. Uh, must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training at Kaer Morhen finally paid off. Bested nearly all the stuffed beasts in here. Please. <laughs> Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. Let's go inside, Geralt. I'll lock the entrance. 
We don't want to raise suspicions. Pinecone. Didn't expect this. Stone. Large female things begging me to pull it out. It's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. Wondrous world of insectoids. Ritual plants. Ah, what do you know? Laboratory Raymond worthy Barlow. of an Imperial alchemist. A biography enhanced. Goes in for light reading, too. War of the Trick Corpse of Novigrad by Sasha Hardy. Skelliger's tales about the wild hunt. The islanders believe the wraith sail on a longship built of the claws of dead men. Look at this. A detailed map of the Northern Kingdoms. Even shows spheres of influence over the ages. Out of date. A child's skull. Ermion's wand. He's one of the few druids to use one. Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. So, statue, how about a skull? Hmm. Guess you're no indecisive prince. What do you say we give it a pine cone? Hmm, nothing. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Huh, seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of others. I have a sneaking suspicion in my... This is it! We've got it! We must return to the feast quickly before... <laughs>
hear that? Smelled it. Gas. Grate still closed. Gotta think of something quick. The damn druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Hold on tight. a needle. Wait. For what? We must talk to Krach. Why? Think he misses us? Because I missed you. I missed you too. <laughs> when are you gonna finally burn this piece of junk? My heart couldn't take it. So many memories. Damn it, Geralt. Do you have any idea how much they cost? Come here. We gotta hurry. Croc's waiting. Is that so? Yen, yeah, let go of the mane. I know you. I let go. You throw us off. <laughs> Don't even try. My, oh my. Missed you. I missed you too. We ought to get back to the wake. I must dress. Turn around. Create asked about you. We went out for a breath of fresh air. <laughs> the claimants to the throne will step forth in a moment. No, heed my words. There is no greater act of valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. No greater deed than that done to serve the goddess. Words of uncommon beauty. We thank you. And we'll take them to heart. But now, let's begin. We have seen Bran off to the beyond, and must now choose his successor. A king must be wise.
king must command respect. A king must have bollocks. There's no lack of men like that. Let those who feel worthy of the throne of Skellige step forward. son could not be here this day. Behold his axe! Behold his will! May the best man a woman win. What's got into her? She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she'll sail to speak her of. Ah, children! The older they grow, the more trouble they are. Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. How was it, Geralt, when Ciri was nearing womanhood? I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ciri was impossible to control. No telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. She and Ceres... They're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ciri's in trouble. And you seek her. That's right. If you require aid, gold, ships, anything, merely say the word, I'll give you all I can. And I know the last lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. Need your help. Ciri probably came here to Skellige and very likely caused the cataclysm along the coast. The site upon which the druids focus so intensely now. A site Ermion refuses to let us explore. Specifically, he won't let me explore it. We fought. We're not friendly now. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Ciri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, at Skellig's my isle. You have my permission to investigate as you see fit. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Anvil! Tell the druid I must speak to him. At the usual spot. I have one more matter to broach. My children. You remember Yalma? Well, he swore an oath to kill the giant of Unthik. Set off and has yet to return. But as Ceres announced, that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udelric is not mad, but cursed. Giants. They've been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye. Dozens of refugees have. The giant drove everyone off the isle. I've welcomed what remains of Clan Tordalach here and Arts Gellard. I heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. It's true. I 
At any rate, Yalmar decided to kill the giant and give the isle back to its people. A deed worthy of a king, he believes. My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Unveig, then travel on foot to Oska, the village. But that many lads should have killed the giant long ago. Thus, I thought to ask you. You should start at the new port. Ask around. Hjalmar might have told someone there his plans. Take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Hjalmar and sort out a deed worthy of a queen. Think she might need my help? You did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Udrek further than I can spit. Ceres won't listen to me. Are her brother, yet confronted by a professional who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. So yes, I ask that you explain things to her, and bring her back. If either Hjalmar or Ceres need help, I'll help them. I thank you. Well, now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Siri is still on Ardskellig. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. A successful feast on all counts, Krak. I will see you later.